Hi Church, I'm Ramel. I'm Enrica. And we're so happy today to be with you to lift up a prayer to the Lord to make us one. Today, we'll be praying for unity in marriages. First, I'd like to start off by reading from Ephesians 4, 1 to 3. As a prisoner for the Lord, then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. God wants us to live in unity, and yet because of our flesh, we may struggle through that. Husbands and wives and marriages across our church may be struggling too. And so we invite you to pray for marriages so that husbands and wives can live a life worthy of the calling they have received. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for marriages. We thank you for unity and bringing us together in this, two unique individuals as one body. Because of this, we get to experience love in a way that you have created that points to your love for the church. Thank you for that alone. Yet we come before you humble, knowing that we fall short. We ask that you work in the hearts of husbands and wives and replace jealousy, fear, anger, pride, and all these things that could disunite. Turn them into humility, gentleness, and patience. Help husbands and wives to bear with one another in love. Keep the peace in our marriages, Lord, so that we can experience your wonderful love for us through each other. Thank you so much that you gave us this gift. Help us to experience its fullness through the unity in our marriage. Father God, thank you for the cross. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on a cross for us, offering forgiveness as his blood cleanses us from all unrighteousness and our sins. Lord, remind us each day of that forgiveness, of that grace, so that we can extend the same forgiveness and grace to our spouses. Lord, we come in humble repentance, fully acknowledging that we have sinned against you. We have failed you in the ways that we have treated our spouses, in the ways that we have been selfish, in the ways that we have been quick to speak and very slow to listen and understand, in the ways that we have been prideful in our heart with selfish desires. Lord, as you have set the example of being a humble servant, you came to earth to serve us and not to be served even though you are God. Lord, help us to take that same spirit of humility with your life and spirit in us to live that out, to serve one another in honor of you by the power of your Holy Spirit. Help us to be selfless, help us to be willing servants for your glory. Lord, have your way in our marriages as we surrender to you. Make us one, Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.